I'd like to do now is talk you through some very important aspects of the paddle board. Beginning with the top of the board, you have the nose at the very front. The back of the board is called the tail and the sides of the board are the rails. Right here on the very top, you have the tie down, which is great if you want to bring some water with you out on the water. And also it's a great spot to place your paddle down so you have a free space to practice on the deck of the board. Moving lower down, you have the actual deck, which is actually a water wicking yoga mat right here, giving you a great grip and preventing you to slip and slide. At the center is a handle, which we use to pick the board up. It's also a great reference point to uh, make sure you know where the center of the board is, where you have the most stability. Coming all the way to the back, we have the leash plugs right here. One you can use to tie the board down to anchor your board, and the other one you can use for a leash, making sure your board stays where you are. On the back of the tail right here, we have the fin, giving you extra stability out on the water. Hi guys, um, I'm here today to spend a little bit of time to talk through the differences between the 10-8 ride board and the 10-8 active that I'm currently sitting on with myself and Katie. Um, so to start with, the uh, main thing to consider is if you're at all in your, into your yoga, your pilates or you just love stretching and you love paddleboarding, then the 10-8 active is absolutely the board you need to try. The other main differences to consider here is that it's a slightly thicker board which means you sit slightly further out of the water and it means you'll stay nice and dry when you're doing your stretches. The other thing is that we've selected the handle slightly to the side so there isn't a central handle which means when you are sitting on the board it's nice and comfy. And the final thing is that it has a full deck pad which runs up all the way up to the top of the nose so you can do lots of lovely yoga stretches and pilates moves. And before I hand over to Katie, I just want to quickly mention our handy paddle strap, which is really useful for keeping your, your paddle secure when you are performing your yoga moves. Here we have the 10 foot Lotus inflatable stand up paddle board. This is your yoga and fitness friendly stand up that's designed for the active rider looking to enhance their workout. Like our single board inflatables, they come standard with a three piece adjustable paddle. This is a carbon shaft and a nylon blade. It's perfect for accommodating different sized paddlers and you can easily break it down for storage or travel. The 10 foot coil leash will make sure you're always safe, close, and attached to your board. Next is the high performance hand pump for fast and easy inflation. We also have our screwless snap-in fin for quick installation or you can detach it for indoor water fitness activities. Now you'll be able to fit all these items in the convenient carrying backpack which is perfect for storing your board when it's not in use. What's really cool about these inflatables is that they go from this size inflated 
to this size deflated and rolled up. All our inflatables are constructed with a military grade outer skin, so no need to stress about dings or scratches. The Lotus offers a healthy number of features designed for stability, portability, and fitness on the water. The shape of the board has an expansive deck pad that gives ample room for yoga, Pilates, or any fitness related exercise. And the new Brush Comfort deck pad serves as the perfect exercise mat. This board also has a single front bungee to keep your water bottle and gear out of the way during your practice. The 10 foot Lotus is an all around cruising sub that has the stability and strength to serve as a training platform and the performance of a standard hardboard.